Hospital window. Two men, both seriously ill, occupy the same hospital room. One man was allowed to sit up in his bed for an hour each afternoon to help drain the fluid from his lungs. His bed was next to the room's only window. The other man had to spend all his time flat on his back. The men talked for hours on end. They spoke of their wives and families, their homes, their jobs, their involvement in the military service where they had been on vacation. Every afternoon, when the man in the bed with the window could sit up, he would pass the time by describing to his roommate all the things he could see outside the window. The man in the other bed began to live with those one-hour periods, where his world would be broadened and elevated by all the activity and color of the world outside. The window overlooked a park with a lovely lake. Ducks and swans play on the water while children sail their model boat. Young lovers walk arm in arm amidst flowers of every color, and a fine view of the city skyline could be seen in the distance. As the man by the window described all this in quiet details, the man on the other side of the room would close his eyes and imagine this picturesque scene. One warm afternoon, the man by the window described a parrot passing by. Although the other man could not hear the band, he could see it in his mind's eye as a gentleman. But the window portrayed it with a descriptive word. Days, weeks, and months passed. One morning, the day nurse arrived to bring water from the bath, only to find the lifeless body of the man by the window, who had died peacefully in his sleep. She was sat in and called the hospital attendants to take the body away. As soon as it seemed appropriate, the other man asked if he could be moved next to the window. The nurse was happy to make the switch, and after making sure he was comfortable, she left him alone. Slowly, painfully, he propped himself up on one elbow to take his first look at the real world outside. He straightened and slowly turned to look at the window beside the bed. It faced a blank wall. The man asked the nurse what could have compelled his viscous roommate, who had described such wonderful things outside the window. The nurse responded that the man was blind and couldn't even see the wall. She said, "Perhaps he just wanted to encourage you." Epilogue. This tremendous happiness in making others happy, despite our own situations. Share grief is half the sorrow, but happiness when shared is double. If you want to feel rich, just count all the things you have the money can buy. Today is a gift. That is why it's called the present. The origin of the story is unknown, but it brings good luck to everyone who passes it on. Do not keep the story. Just forward it to your friends to whom you wish blessings.